Hey guys, RC here. I want to give this game a shot. I bought it a while back and started diving into it and really had a div, you know, just, you know, had a hard time figuring it out. So I watched a couple of videos, but noticed that most of the videos are pretty old. So figured I'd jump in and throw mine out there. Don't know if I'll have regular uploads on these, but they'll be consistent. Uh, probably a couple a week. Uh, but, you know, it'll come in after my football manager stuff, which will continue to be my priority. So, uh, anyway, it's Sim Airport. It's from the makers of Sim SimCity uh, and The Sims and all that other stuff. So, first thing I want to do is I want to go into settings and gameplay, I believe. And, yes, I'm changing it to use legacy sprites. I've already done that. Because uh, I've fiddled around in it for a couple of hours now just to play around, see what I can do. Legacy sprites are more cartoonish, uh, but, you know, I like the way they look. So turn that on. We're going to play a new game, and we're going to start from scratch, which gives us a million dollars. We're going to have government grants on, and we are going to start a new game. All right. Quickly pause it so nothing advances. All right, so let's kind of get the lay of the land here. So we've got a million dollars. Passenger happiness currently is at 50%. We don't have any passengers. There's no airline interest because we don't have an airport. So, and this is your weather. Uh, certain weather conditions can shut down your runway, make it impossible for planes to land. So, you know, you have to kind of watch out for that. There are some uh, runway upgrades that you can do to kind of get started and this is your speed uh, you actually control this using the one two and three buttons and the space bar uh, so if we hit space and then three two one and space bar so that's how that works uh, down here it tells you your current floor you can go up levels multiple levels you can also go down a couple of levels that's done using your page up and page down buttons just as a reference and if you're new to my channel i taught for a few years uh, so i tend to approach my let's plays from a teaching perspective and i try to tell you what i'm doing how to do certain things so i hope you don't mind that down here we have environment overlays uh, pa speakers secure areas just basically you can get color colorization on your map uh, to show certain areas and down here we have our building tools, zoning tools, staff hiring, finance hubs. This is where you can take out bank loans, research, operations control panel, flight management. This is where you, you agree to do certain flights with certain airlines. Flight status, you can check how those flights are progressing and government grants. Let's take a quick look at government grants. There are six things in here, and this is a good way to make some money. So you have basic airport, airline services, airport efficiency, passenger experience, investments, and maximizing profits. So basic airport, uh, tier one, it is unlocked. You can only do one at a time, so don't just click on them willy-nilly. Go through them, make sure you're gonna be able to do it. But on this one, uh, we have to build a functioning ticketing and security zone, a gate and runway, and a baggage claim. So that's going to be the easiest thing, but we're not going to worry about it right now. What I am going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to start researching finance, which cost us $6,000. I'm not going to go crazy on that but we are going to get started now you notice the numbers here so it requires a ticketing zone a security zone and a baggage claim zone and you need one airport gate and one runway so what i'm going to do is i'm going to lay out the initial airport we'll do that together and then i'll pause the recording kind of let my guys get started on that uh, now it is paused so i'm going to go in and i am going to hire eight additional workmen which is going to cost me sixteen thousand dollars so this gives me ten workmen now keep in mind your workmen do all your construction maintenance and they also run the baggage carts uh until you you know 
to bring from your check-in desk to your airplane and then from your airplane to your baggage claim department. So we're going to come into the build tool and you'll learn your way around this pretty quickly, but you have construction, certain things, objects, zones, utilities. Uh, the main thing we're going to use right now is the foundation. We're going to zoom in here. So we have a garbage zone up here, a drop off zone. This is where they'll drop off passengers to the airport, pickups, people leaving the airport. Deliveries, this is for deliveries for places inside your store or construction and storage. Anything that you, you know, anything miscellaneous that appears. So what I want to do is, and foundations are very expensive. The first thing is when you're building the gate where the plane parks to take passengers on and offload passengers, a small one can only handle certain size planes but the gate has to but those are available to uh gate doors on the first level if you use the extra large gates which can pick up the largest planes in the game you need a longer runway and you need to have that on a second floor so to start building those not only do you have to spend more money on a longer runway but then you have to lay two foundations because you have to build a first floor foundation and then you have to go up and build a second floor foundation. Very, very expensive, at least in the initial going. So slow and steady, like most of these building games that take money and, and you have finite resources. So we are going to come in here. Now, when you drag this out, the, the edge is going to be a wall. So if we do that, we'll just have two walls. So I want... 13 by 9. That'll be actually be an 11 by 7 room with walls on the other edges. We're going to do that. And then I'm going to want a 5 by 5 room here. Then I want a 3 wide hallway down to here. Then I'm going to want four wide hallway there and I'll have to come back and eventually tear out some walls because each time you lay one of these it will build walls around that section and then you can dismantle them that's not a big deal all right so this is going to be my baggage claim and we'll have an exit there to go to pickups this will be our input from drop-off, so we'll have all of our ticketing areas here, and then they'll come through here. Now, I am going to want, let's do that. That'll be some bathrooms on the unsecure side of security. And then we're going to have this come out there. Yeah, that's good. All right. Before I get too deep, and again, I don't know anything about min-maxing this game. I have no idea. So what I'm doing, if you guys have played before, I've, I've literally got a couple of hours in it. You're probably going to be, oh my God, that's horrible. So 150 gets us a pretty good assortment of planes. And what's neat, I think it would be kind of cool to do just like a small rural airport where you only take small planes. But, you know, well, why don't we do that? Why don't we do that? No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> so we're going to go with a $150,000 runway. We're going to look for a taxiway. So your taxiways have to come from the end right there. And then we are going to want a gate. And here's the different gates. So these extra large and large gates, those are those have to be on the second floor. You can see in the in the text there requires a door to the terminal on floor two. So we're gonna go with a small gate. I haven't played with a remote gate. I suppose we could do that. I wonder how that works. I haven't actually played with a remote gate. Maybe we'll try to do one. All right, well, let me get out of that for a second and come back here. All right, if I do 
a small gate. Now the yellow, the yellow Y part to the right, that's where the plane will park. So let's go right there. Then we'll come back into our foundation. Now the gate door has to be at this crosswalk, right? So you're going to build your wall here. I'm going to build my gate there. And then what we're going to do is, how do I want to do this? Tell you what, we're going to come out like this. Actually, I think I'm going to want that a little bit wider, like that. And then we'll do something like this. This. And like that. Maybe one more. All right. So basically what I'm looking at here, this will be the entrance. This will be where you get your ticket. We'll have some bathrooms up here, male and female. We'll have a hallway here, through here and here. Uh, we, we'll probably have some vending machines in this area. Try to pick up some money. This will be our baggage claim with an exit outside. So this will be kind of like an exit hallway. So they'll you know, come out this way. Um, there will be a wall here. So they'll, you'll come out this hallway. You'll come through this hallway and up into here, right? And this area over here will be security. Well, well this wide area here, you'll come out and then around and into the gate area. And then this is where we'll have our entrance, some seating, and this is where the passengers would wait for the plane. So it's day one, 8.04. Oh, you know what? Real quick, because we're not done yet. I need the taxiway, right? So we're going to put the taxiway right there. So they will land, circle around, come down to the gate, and then we'll have a gate here. Now we could probably put one more gate and then maybe a remote gate, and we'll have to add on some foundation out here, possibly. But And then we could also come down this way and build another gate with its own security coming out this way. And then we can expand out, and then we can go up a level. There's different things we can do. This is about as far as I've gotten is one, one, uh, one gate and the airlines on it. So anyway, let me get them building this, and I'll be right back. Well, I'll be back in a while when they've got this finished. All right, we are back. They're not quite done yet, but the runway's done. In fact, I want to go ahead and set that up to upgrade our lights with the overlay. We will also upgrade our two runway. What this does is allows higher crosswinds, and you need two of them. So we'll go ahead and, and it tells you one of two now placed. I don't know if there's a right way or a wrong way for these. I would figure it would tell you. But what I'm going on is the uh, the little cables that are now to the right, that those are the wires that power the lights. So I would say that the lights need to shine out towards where the planes are coming from. Just a guess. All right. So we've got it on speed two. They're working. So let's take a look down here. The gate's done. Now they're going to be working on all the internal stuff. So we've got a door here. You'll come in. We, we'll have two ticketing desks. We'll have uh, flight information, garbage bin, some ticket kiosks, self-service, another garbage bin, uh, another flight info, ATM, which we can make money on. Uh, also, another uh, the restrooms are up. Well, they're going in. Vending machines will make us money. Garbage bins to throw trash away. And then we'll have the exit down here to baggage claim with an exit out to pick up that we talked about. You'll come up through here into security. We're going to have a wall right here, and we'll have these security ID stands 
where they'll check your ID. So you'll come in here and then you'll come up into the security zone. You'll put your bag through, walk through the metal detector, come up this way and into the gates. We'll have some vending machines up here and we have a lot of bench seating right there. We'll have two uh, check-in desks for gate agents and that's where they'll uh, take tickets, let the passengers board. And we've got to get some of that stuff built. Now it's 4.59, so we want them to get this done as quick as possible. Everything resets at midnight. So if you don't get it done by midnight, if they don't get it done by midnight, we won't be able to book flights. Oh, hold on. There, all right, the gates are up. All right, so what we're going to do, we need to hire people. So we're going to go into our staff. And it tells you how many you need. So we have the two gate agents and the two ticket people. So we need to hire four of them. We need seven security people. We need a couple of janitors. I think you might be able to get due with one, but you know, a little overkill never hurt. And we don't need a retail worker or chef yet. So those guys will come in, the ticket desks will be manned and the gate desks will be manned. Let's zoom in on those right now. So what we need to do is we need to pick these. We need to assign it to a gate, and then we'll take the other one and assign that to the same gate. Now you can do queues. I actually watched a video yesterday and it basically argued that queues actually slow stuff up. Now, here's the problem. All this work we've done, we've got a runway. We've got the upgrades on the runway to allow nighttime flights, also to allow uh, higher crosswinds. I think it's 15 instead of 11. And then there's another thing that we can do to upgrade it from 15 to 30. And that's this, uh, that's this thing right here, 15 to 20. Oh, these do it from 12 to 15, 12 to 20. So it'll go up to 20 at some point. So we are almost out of our million dollars, right? All right, we can start taking, what's wrong with this? Requires a secure area. Well, we have a security area here. I guess we've got to wait for the cops to arrive. Oh, I know what we got to do. Ah, damn it. All right, um, all right. First off, let's go into grants. I'll tell you what I did wrong. All right, we're going to do that. And we just picked up that $250,000. Now we need a functioning gate and runway. So that was some quick, easy money. Let's go in here and let's find, there it is right there, the fence. So we're gonna come right off a of baggage claim right behind storage and run a fence down there. They can't get through the wall. And then we're gonna come from here. We're gonna run this fence all the way up the edge of the map basically anything to the right is going to be in a secure zone so basically this fence keeps people from walking in and bombing the runway i suppose also while i'm right here i'm going to put a couple of dumpsters you can put two two or four bags of garbage in there instead of just one per square so we're going to do that we need the fence done i need that urgent that'll be urgent and then this one down here will set to high. So once this is secure, that gets, that gets us through here. Now we are at 838. I'm gonna go ahead and start booking flights. And then we'll end the day. So we've upgraded the runway with lights, right? That's these things at the end. So if we look at flights, you have early morning, morning, afternoon, and night. So early morning, you have to unlock through your research. Oh, in fact, we should do some more research. Uh, let's go ahead and start on operations. And, you know, there's a lot of things later in research. You may not want it now, but it's like anything else with a technology tree or whatever. You got to kind of keep up with it because by the when you get to the point you want it, it's too late. <laughs> so... All right, I'm gonna let them keep working, but I'm gonna slow it down. So let's go ahead and set up our flights. 
So we have the larger runway that'll handle up to, well, it's a small runway, but we can handle up to 737s, now 707s, uh, you know, those kind of things we can't handle. So let's book our morning first. So let's look at arrow time. They have two 737s. Let's accept both of those. And then we're going to drag those into here. I'm going to shorten this so you see it will arrive at 6, depart at 8. Let's depart at 7.30. And then we want a gap to about 7.40. And 8.40, let's see, it's an hour and a half. So 9.10. All right, there's our first two flights. Let's check Pacific Airlines. Now, they have a Beechcraft 1900D. That only carries 19 passengers, so I'm not interested. But they have an Airbus A320, which holds 150. So we'll accept that one, and we'll give them about a 10-minute gap there. And 1050, that'll be an hour and a half. And then we can get one more, possibly. Union Air has a DBQ, which is a, there's your D, D8, so that's 50 passengers. Uh, Aerostar has a 737, so we'll take that one. Now, as long as you get it in to start, it doesn't have to take off there. Now, this will cut into our afternoon time, which is okay, which is okay. All right, now, let's go back up, and we want to try to get some more flights from the same people. So they have a CRJ 900, which is 75. Not horrible. And here's what I don't know, because again, not having played it enough. I don't know if having more flights with the same airline helps you. It might, it probably does. So it might benefit us to take those two flights. But let's only take one, right? Now, it is a smaller plane. I'll give that 10-minute cushion. And instead of an hour and a half, we'll give about an hour and 15 minutes. So we'll go from 1240, 140, 150. Let's go an hour and 20 minutes. Let's do that. Pacific Airlines has that Airbus A320. That's the big one. So we certainly want that one, and we already had flights with them. Let's drop it in and give them the full hour and a half. So that's 340. Union Air, DBQs, that's 50. Now, Lernieville Air, that would be a great airline to go with if you were a like a rural airport that we were talking about. All of their airplanes are small, 19 and 50 only. So we're going to actually, I'm going to hide them. We're going to hide them for right now. I just don't want to deal with them. All right, WestJet, West, 737s are the ones that we can actually do. So let's take those. And I may have just overstepped my bounds here. Uh, 350, 520. All right, and again, as long as you get in... Then we can go into the evening. So we've got our airlines there. And then we can also do nighttime, remember. So an E-195 is 90 passengers. Not horrible. That's going to be a sh one we can shorten up pretty good, right? And this one, for some reason, you just can't, can't get in there to look. There we go. All right, so we're going to give them a little bit, and we're just going to give them, let's give them an hour. Let's give them an hour and ten. Don't want to undercut them. You get bonuses if you get all your flights out on time. So something to shoot for. All right, there's another Airbus. That'll be a big one at night. And this one ended at 810. So we want to go to 8. 20 and give them an hour and a half so there we go and oh and there you see we had this pop up so we've scheduled 10 flights you have to build an air traffic control tower to build any more than to book more than 10 flights and you see that this is hidden 
behind a grant. So we have to go in and find the grant. And I believe that is right here. So we have to run the airport for two days. We need five flights, which we've already got, but we need two ticketing kiosks, which we've got over here. And we need three, what did it say? Three normal or extra large flight info displays. Well, that's these that I built. So there's one, two, three coming out of here, four. So I actually built several. So we should be good there. So we have our gate people. We have, and you can see they could, this is right up against the wall, but they can stand behind it and there's a gap. So they'll check people in and they'll walk right between them. So you don't have to leave a gap. So you know, you can cram things in a little bit. The other thing I want to do while we're here, now that they've built everything, I want to maximize all of our profits. So we're going to apply to all for drinks and food and ATMs. And if we look at this food, you can see it's already maxed out at 10. The electronics, we're going to do that one as well. There's another electronics already done. There's our other ATM. So you can see when you do that, if they're already built, yes, I hear you. If they're already built, uh, you can they'll maximize everything. So you don't have to click on each one. Uh, now, if I add a new one, then I'll have to raise the price of that one, and then I'll just apply to all just to make sure they're done. So let's take a look. We've got our entrance ticketing, self self ticketing. Vending machines, couple of bathrooms, more vending machines, the exit to baggage claim, the security zone with two check check in stations, and enough room that I can add a third one, and I can extend this way out if I need to. Now, my thought process here is to not do one main security zone; it's to minim, you know, kind of compartmentalize so. This security zone will be for this terminal, this gate area. And like I said, we may extend this out if we can. Let's see how far out we can go. Okay, yeah. So we can go out to here. All right, let us let me do that so I can see. All right, so we can go to right there. Now, remember, so the... The crosswalk here, the entrance to the gate is to the right. So if we put another gate right here, we don't have to go all the way out. And we'd have to move these machines and extend that out to here. But we could definitely put another gate, two check-in desks, couple more benches, and then move the vending machines into there. And then we could actually extend it this way and maybe put one of those, another gate over here somewhere with a taxiway coming off right there. Maybe even one of those remotes if we want to give it a try. All right, well, we are on finishing day two, so they did a lot of work. i tell you what I'm going to do to save some money. I am going to fire four of these guys. That'll save us $8,000 a day, so that's good. And... This is where your guys hang out uh, in deliveries, waiting for anything to do. We've got our gate set up. We've got our ticket, our gate agents, our ticketing. Those are all set. I'm not going to use queues just to see how that works because I don't know. And that's the basic setup. And we've got 10 flights ready to go. So we've got four in the morning four in the afternoon and two in the evening and we'll be able to fit one more in the evening we'll do that next episode see how it looks guys let me know what you think if you're excited about this game hit that like button so i know you want to see more of it subscribe if you're new and we'll see you next time take care bye